And so the next step is that what we need to do is whenever we generate some number and we add a player A or player B, then we also need to check the game point. So to check the game point, so if the current value is equals to the game point or uh, equals to or greater than the, the game point, then that player is a winner. So how do we check a winner? So let's go back to our class over here in the main activity and I will create a one more variable. I will say where game underscore point. And game point should be integer data type and equals to I will say initial value of a game point is let's give a 100. So game point value is 100. So whoever reached the score point of 100 first then that player is a winner. So what we will do is over here and uh, let's say over here we check when we set everything okay after that we will just check over here and we we'll say check uh, sorry it should be chck check the game point so how to check a game point each if the score a is equals to 100 right or equals to or greater than so what I will do is if I will say that score player A is equals to equal e greater than equals to okay greater than equals to 100 then that is a winner point or a winner uh, winning point and we should stop a game at this point and so we will need to do the similarly same thing for here which is check the game point and if the score player it should be b is equals to greater than equals to 100 then we need to stop the gameplay and also we need to show that the winner is our player a or player b so we need to take one more text view over here so for that what we will do is we'll just take uh, one text view from here just drag it down over here and what we will do is i will just go and yeah we need to drag over here and also to the left and to the right okay so it's in the card so we need to add outside of the card yeah that should be fine and I will say that let me remove it constraint to the below and I will say add a constraint of uh, level 16 that should be fine and constraint it to left and also right and I'll just say it and it so the text view is in the middle that should be fine and what I will say is that uh, it is a text view of a game okay game over sorry let's make a game g a m e game over message so i just create a text a id of a give idea text view game over message so whenever we have a game over message we will set to this text view and what i will do is i will remove this one right so Let's go and create a string over here for that. I'll just say string and name of came over message. Came over message. Then what you want to give a game over message is the winner. W I and a winner each the okay. So winner is player A or player B. So I'll just copy this and i will just get that value and just add it to over here okay don't add it first because we don't need to add it at the initial whenever we launch the application i don't want to show that message so only when the game is over then we will show that message so for that i will go over here and whenever we uh, score player of the score player player a is greater than equals to 100 then i will show that uh, let me copy the ID of that one. So that is the cop. Let me copy ID. Let's go back over here. Just paste it and I'll say that text is equals to 
get our we need to get the resource from re resource let's get a resource dot i will say string resource mm, resource dot get resources i think we get uh get get text yeah get text and i need to say that r dot string dot uh, string is the game point default so we will say the game point and that should be added uh, we should get a value of the winner each and we also need to add a message of who is the winner so winner each and i will just concatenate with plus and okay i have some error over here what is happening over here say that the winner each of a string and i'll just say as a why it is showing the red color as it's a red color over here so i think i cannot concatenate it i need to do something else over here so what i will do is so what i need to do is uh, i cannot concatenate it over here because this is an integer value so the next thing that i need to do is let me create a variable first so let us go over here and create a variable of a, a message which is uh let's say game and the and the n msg message which is a string data type and i will just say it as a null type first of all let's say null or empty and i will just go and over here i will just say let let me copy this game and message over here and i will just say paste it over here and okay let me also create another one which is i will say game and message i will say as a e f a u l t default so the default what we'll do is we'll get from our string resource so equals to i'll just copy this one and let me cut it and paste it over here and i just need to pass it to a string sorry make it to a string dot to a string that will convert the text to a string and we have a default game and message and the next thing is that we need to set up game and message which will be equals to this one and we need to we can concatenate with a message say that with uh, what i say over here is uh, the game the winner each so what i need to not, not the game point no, sorry it's not a game point so it's a game over message so i place it wrongly so it should be game over message plus what i need to add is is a player a is a winner so that should be fine and we'll just set that message the game and message to the game over text message so that should be fine and that's it it's uh, working we have some concatenation that should be okay and similarly we need to do the same thing over here we just we just copy this one first and paste it over here and uh, it should be clear b is the winner and after player b is winner then we say the text view just copy not okay don't copy that one just copy this we just say that text view dot text is equals to the game end message so we get a game and message over here and that should be fine and let's go back to the main activity and let me set some formatting over here so let's go down and let's add a text size of uh, 24 and text style let's say a uh, bold and also let us say the text color text color let us keep in a red pink yeah let's use this color <laughs> let us see and that should be fine text color and also let us change the font 
So for that, I need to go to the fund and let me change the fund. Where is the fund? Fund. Okay, fund. Where is the fund? Funds. Fund. No, that is not a fund. So where is the fund? Okay, fund families here. Yeah. Well, let me change it to a uh, serif morning space. Okay, let's run and play the game again. Let me open the illuminator. Okay, so initial value zero, a zero game point is 100. And let us play. Okay, so let me reach the score first. Okay, after we reach, okay, 40, 50, and we are on the 60, 70, 70, 80, 83. Okay, going to win. So player B already has a score of 96. Yeah, we get a great message. The winner is player B. Okay, we are done over here. And the next step is that after the that is over, game is over, we should not allow to generate again the number. So if you see again, it's generating a number. You can see it's again able to play. So what we need to do is we need to stop play. For that, what we will do is we will disable the click. So what we need to do is for that, let's say the dice image after game is over. And we will say that after game is over, dice image dot enable it's enabled or we can say e n a b l e d it's enabled equals to we can say false so we just copy this the same thing and we just paste it down over here and we just uh, let me comment out the i s a b disable the i image image view and also we copy this and just Put it over here yeah and let me run the application one more time and let us play the game again so let me go and take it to the 100 point okay okay 40 50 60 and we have 70 and 80 and 90 and 100 yeah, we are uh, again is the game player is B and you can see it's now disabled. So we cannot click that button anymore. So it's already a winner. So that's it for this lesson and we'll continue with this lesson and we'll add some more functionality in our game. So let's meet up in a next lecture.